Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Revolution Esports. We have an uh, exciting game today. We have two Division One teams uh, going head to head. And by the way, you guys are muted, so you don't have to worry about it. You can talk. Um, <laughs> uh, so we have the lovely B Banshee Esports team it is going to be going up against a team. I'm not going to pretend that I can pronounce the name, but. Uh, it is technically a fish that has a, the, the its real name is a, a, sl a slippery dick, um, but I, I don't know how to pronounce its, um, its, its real, uh, um, what do you want to call it, scientific name. Um, either way, the uh, Banshee Esports uh, have been with us for a little while, they've, they've been remodeled as from a previous team, the Trailblazers, uh, they joined us in Season 2, um, and the, the whatever whatever slippery dicks um they are new this season um and they are uh they're looking out here to to make themselves a name they uh i'll, I'll let the casters uh, do a little more intro on them um themselves because that's that's something they they typically do and they that's their job and not my job so i'm just gonna intro you to the to the casters here we have uh Actually, a very special um, cast coming up. We have an, a guest caster. Um, his name is Beak, and he is actually the uh, captain of Freaks and Beaks, who is a team that is actually participating in our Division One um, season. So, uh, you want to say hi to everybody? There's Mr. Beak. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, soldier. Uh, appreciate the time being here today. Uh, I'm excited to cast. Uh, you know, a little little bout between these two Div One teams. Um, get to see the uh the meta here that they're they're gonna try and play and you know what banshee esports is all about because i understand that they're undefeated as well um so you get to see what they're all about and get to have a good game between the two hopefully mm -hmm. cool and i Hi. have my uh other caster that i'm just going to talk over and be very rude to uh he's been on a stream with us a couple times and he does always a super awesome job uh we have mr bite me Hello everyone, and welcome to another stream. Uh, we have Banshee Esports versus Holly Churros, um, bro, 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 protein, <laughs> protein versus yeah, protein. protein. So we have we have we have um, Hail Churros protein versus um, Ban Shay Espates. I think it's just Henley Bros. I think that's how you pronounce it. Okay, yeah, yeah. it's one of those radical, you know, pronunciations from. No, it's exotic. It's, it's, That's right. So, you know, a, a, a little bit of information on, on these two teams. So, Banshee Esports is actually undefeated, and Hallie Churros, um, Slippery Dicks, whatever you want to call them, we'll call, we'll call them Hallie the rest of the game, um, is uh, not undefeated. They have 4 9 against 11 2. So, the only, pro <laughs> the only problem, other than all 12 players incapac incapacity to actually match up their player icons. The only problem other than that is that um, Hallie Churros lacks the um, uh, star DPS. Well, that's where that team teamwork comes in, right? So, I mean, we always say in Overwatch, you know, there's always a carry on every team. But, you know, you see some teams, especially like even at the OWL level, there's not always a carry. Um, and that can help win games. So if they play well enough and they're coordinated enough, especially in a meta like this, where we should probably be expecting a lot of Hagarissa, um, you can steal some stuff, especially, I mean, if that, that carry can be kind of, um, you know, kept at bay uh, and focused down, can definitely win some games. Yeah. So I know for a fact that, or I have a, a really strong hunch from the last game I cast with Banshee, that Banshee is going to be running 2 2 2 simply, simply because they, they want to get ready for the 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 meta that's going to be coming out soon. And I expect the same from Hallie. I, I don't really expect any of that that unknown comp that people see a lot of. I think it has a brig, some, I, I, I don't know, it's it's so weird. Well, I mean, like you said, we want that 2-2-2-2-2 two, 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 two meta. I think we yeah. all would like that. 2-2-2-2, <laughs> two, 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 uh, two. we want more heroes, please. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, I think it is it is a smart idea to get ready, um, you know, for the incoming drastic change that Overwatch is, is ready to have. I think it's well needed and, and I think it's gonna bring a whole new design to the game here. Um, so I'm excited to see what kind of creativity is coming out of these two teams. Yeah, so, you know, getting in, into this first map, we have Nepal. I think probably one of my favorite, um, almost like, definitely one of my favorite control maps. It, it allows 
there are there's a big well in the middle on, on one of the maps and there are it holds so much you know different availability it's like you can go from one map to a different map it's so extreme it's just two sides of the spectrum yeah i think what's great about nepal is that i mean it's depending on meta's past you can have metas on different maps of nepal right so like on a on a sanctum you have that can have like a rissa hog or something where you're playing uh for halt hooks into the into the space uh into the pit and then you have like shrine you have village you can do multi dps you can do goats that's been a popular goats map so you know i'm excited to see what these two teams roll out with because there's a lot of creativity here mm -hmm. so now waiting in the first map i think we have probably the best nepal map in my opinion and so what do you think that these two teams, other than Arisa Hog, because let's be honest, the uh, the Halt is just too good. Absolutely, yeah. Um, I think something that's really popular here is Shield Break. Um, you know, Shield Break, especially when you may not be as coordinated with the Halt hooks, but you can kind of brute force your way through that by just breaking the other Arisa Shield faster. Because once you have that Arisa exposed like that, and then especially using their gold ability, their that fortify ability, that's going to really uh, open it up to put pressure on that front line. Uh, and if they don't have enough pressure to counteract that, um, that's going to be a problem. And we're going to really see uh, a team take advantage of that today. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Uh, and you know what? I've been, uh, I've been spoiled these last two games and I'm disappointed that I'm not seeing any Bastion. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if this is the right ma map for it. I mean, I haven't, can't say I haven't seen it here. Um, but you know, I think we're rolling out here with a, a double sniper from uh, from one of the teams here, and I, that's another popular one we see here as well. So we're gonna see the engage come out. We do see four P out a little, but he has to be wary because we don't know if Wisp is going to contest it really hard. We see, you know, the first sort of fight comes in. Holly's shield does go down first. With Wisp taking down four though, so that's gonna be huge. They're gonna have a lot more space to maneuver, even though they still do have the Hanzo up and running. That's one sniper down. We are gonna see them start moving up. Now they're trying. They're gonna to try to engulf the point as Banshee comes in from the side. They're hoping to short stop it. They need to wait, stall it for enough time at least, so that Ford can come back. And when he does, they sort of want to. I don't know. Be like an amiibo and just yep. consume the other team. Now that now that um, you know Heli, Heli has won this point, they're gonna to want to really want to play a slow game here. Um, that way they can try and get staggers as much as possible. Uh, you know, once they had that point locked down. Uh, now that you can get a fresh reset and have another fight. And we look for the next push. I do think Ford is going to be taking another chance to try to snipe out, but it's, it's a little bit hard saying that Wisp has the... Actually, Wisp doesn't have the shield, so Ford doesn't, definitely has a little bit of an advantage here. And we do see this. Like, right now, we see Banshee's having an extremely difficult time coming in. They don't have the maneuverability. They don't have the space, because Wisp right now is tearing a Banshee. They cannot do anything right now. Wisp is trip destroying. They're halting Banshee in their tracks. Now, keep in mind, Banshee does have dragons. They do have the nano. But if you don't have half your team, there's no point in trying to rush in. Yeah, especially, you know, Wisp is really winning this Widow fight. And that makes all a difference in, in, in a double sniper meta. <clears throat> what, you know, what Banshee really has to do is kind of step back here and recompose and then start thinking about what ults they need to use because Banshee has complete control of this point. And there's really nothing else that's going to dislodge him other than a pick or an ultimate use that we see coming out here. Yep, so we do see Blade's wheel coming out. He's looking to definitely make the other team a little bit too tired to play. It comes in. He's looking for the squishies, but oh! Only wow. gets Toasty out of it, although I was expecting Poriel to sort of snipe it up, but a little bit too slow on those reactions right there. They do have bongos. Sorry. Pally does have bongos, and they do have nano for this first fight, although they are going up against four alts on the yeah. side of Banshee. It's smart, smart for Banshee to back up there without their main healer. They have a bunch of alts coming into this fight, so I'm interested to see what they want to try and use here, because they want to try and play the long game. They need to win one fight, but they don't want to use all their alts doing it. Nice placement of dragons, sort of more of a zoning alt. They are able to get Wisp off on the first fight, so that's a really good thing. They're popping almost all their alts. Popping nano, oh my god, bongos, and they're just going to melt it. There's no way you can really counteract four alts. Yeah, I think, uh, like I said, I was interested to see how they used all their ults, and they in fact did pretty much use everything. They still have beats that is good for sustain in the next fight, but so now we got to look at, you know, what he, Heli has coming in, and they have whole, whole hog, and they have nano, so I'd expect to see a nano whole hog coming in uh, once they see a sleep dart come out from uh, from Banshee. That way they know he can get it uninterrupted. So I don't know if Toadsy popped it out right there, but they did lose the speed. And 
they're gonna drop it right there. Once that you lose Lucio, the fight's over. That uh, and that that was a, one of the the first successful halt hooks that we've seen in this game. That you know, I assume that's gonna be a big part of who wins this matchup going forward. Mm -hmm. There we do. So what we see right now is Wisp. He's poking out. He's trying to get line of sights on Nalanya over here, but. It's nothing's really connecting. They're gonna decide to rotate on the point, try to do whatever they possibly can. The Hulk Hulk comes out, but oh, barely misses Poryel. Wow. You are able to, it does connect, but there's nothing is really to come from it. But Wisp is carrying it. We see some counter right now from Lania, and it's gonna stop Tally right in their tracks. It wouldn't be a Nepal Sanctum game without Lucio booping someone into the pit. Mostly that poor Arissa, because they have no movement abilities. And once you have, without that gold, you're you're so you're fragile. Um, so you know, great execution by Banshee uh, to try and to try and win that fight. Hanzo playing a little bit aggressive here, a little bit scared. Here comes the reset. Ooh, Lenny's right on the right, almost doesn't get out. There we see the I think the third su successful all took off yep. onto Ace right there, but nothing really connects. We do see Halley over here able to sort of overwhelm oh, wow. the halt hook. Even if he did get the halt hook, the damage is a little bit too much. The shields are going to go down. Jay desperately sort of pops his. Bongo's right there, trying to do whatever he possibly can, but the point is, go about to be taken 99. All that really is going to happen is this Lucio contestion, and it seems like this first map is going to go to Halley. Yeah, that was impressive. I mean, the double snipers of Banshee actually really carried that fight. They they deleted the, the Junkrat tire, and they got a couple picks, even with the out after getting the pulled pork on the front line. Um, but it was just more sustain that you know that Halley had, you know, going past. You know, what can you do? That is the meta. We do. I don't think we're gonna see that many switch. Actually, we are gonna see some major switches on the side of Halley over here. We're gonna see a May. I, I just love seeing Mays, especially on this map because I'm a I'm a mm. filthy May main who just loves. Oh playing. man, I can't believe I'm casting with a May main. As yeah, a main yeah. tank, May is a demon to me. Um, so, but I can understand, especially on this map, she's incredibly powerful. And I'm curious to see how they roll with roll out with her. I expect them to jump right on the point uh, and just really use that May wall um, to kind of create this. You know, pretty much don't mess with me zone on the point. Mm -hmm. So we do see Team Halley go straight for point, while the uh, while Team Banshee sort of decides to go for the high ground, which I personally think is, is a little bit of, of the better choice. We, we do see far on the side of Lanaya, so definitely a, a, a tad bit more damage. Let's see how this works out for them. Right now, they're just sort of pull Oh, what a great haul hook onto the Ryan, but the Ryan's able to s escape safely. Yep. As the main one goes up, sort of like, yeah, exactly like you said, don't mess with me, don't even come in here. As Halley's able to get the first point, we do see Wisp take off the Mercy right now as the battle sort of rages on and great it's an even, And it's an even fight, but like with, but now that, you know, Halley has control of this point, they can play slow. They don't have to push the aggro here. But the interesting thing is, you know, all, all that Banshee has to do is just poke, 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 because that is what this meta can do, and that is what this comp wants, right? They want to break down the shield, Ryan's shield, and make it his life as hard as possible. Mm -hmm. So the next fight sort of begins. Okay, Halley just smashes that in. Great plays by Blade and Cause, doing the freeze poop right there. Completely annihilating. We do see Lanala try to do a little bit of cleanup right there, but nothing really does connect. We kind of saw Banshee take an incomplete fight there. So like, they kind of tried to push in with just the front line, but they really didn't have the healers and Ana, I think, right back yet. So. Uh, I think they were a little little aggressive and a little anxious to try and, and take that next free contest and that cost them even more time. I don't think that they expected Blade to be extrude like Blade has some great aim on this projectile right now. Her icicles seem to always hit and you know what, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think CM Bros was really looking forward to that really good aim. Mm -hmm. So the next fight comes in. Ryan shat oh. Ryan just did a really nice shatter, almost gets scored, but doesn't it just misses him by the by the skin of his teeth. Blade comes outside to try to finish this fight. They're gonna, they're gonna pop whatever else they possibly can. I mean, they, they sort of just want to secure this point for another fight. This is the double-edged sword of playing Ryan into an Arissa, right? It's if you're if you're the Ryan in that in that in that situation, you're trying to just break through that shield and trying to get as much cleave as one, because that's what you want as Ryan, uh, and that also allows you to have super fat shatters. Um, so he must be happy with that win. Daddy shed. He's like I always say. We're gonna see Banshee. Go for oh they were gonna go for high ground but Arisa fell off meaning that they're gonna have to go for low ground right now they're gonna try to go on the right side <laughs> they're gonna get cleaved by this dragon which is gonna be huge so now they're gonna, now they're to go on different sides as May pops a great blizzard out able to get forward he's gonna fall down in the first five seconds we do see Mercy going for head and Stavnik right now but it seems a little bit unlikely as Wisp is straight up demolishing uh, up 
the enemy team. Like, he's a Vitamix right now, making some great smoothies for his team to drink up. That ultimate charge is not going to go anywhere. As we do see Banshee Esports are creeping up on the capture point right now, but it just doesn't seem, doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Risky does have the Fatty Shaddy, but is he going to get back in time? I think not, as Banshee Esports yeah. is going to be able to get So, back. the front line of, of Halley you know, fell a little early in that fight, and that's kind of why it ended up going in Banshee's favor, because the front line of Arisa Hawk is just has so much sustain and staying power. Uh, and once they got put on the point, I mean, the May can can contest for so long, especially if she's not focused. Um, you know, eventually they were able to get the turn. Mm -hmm. So we do see Hallie. They're going for the high ground. They're trying to do whatever they possibly can. A uh, risky move by the Mercy and Bar to try to contest them on the high ground because we, we we do see how good Wisp is and we have seen how good Blade is. So it's a little bit of a risky right now. He's going to go in the back line. I do expect a Justice to come from above. It does come. It gets Wisp. Gets Wisp. He's dead. Deco. Three kills right now, but Blade's going to counteract it with his own three kills right now. Almost finishing off the far, but just barely missing it as Ace is going to fall under half health going into a risky little area right there. We do see the sort of pull and push tactics right now as Lenal is going to get a lot of picks right now. He's going to pop Blizzard, but as, maybe the only one very, there. Very greedy play by Blades there trying to get the get the May, the May on point. Um, you know, the win condition here is the grab, right? There are no support ultimates that Banshee has that is really counterable uh, from the Graviton that, that Ace is going to be bringing in. Uh, and they could have brought combo that with the, the freeze to really guarantee the one fight because they only need one more um but he thought he had that he wanted that clutch factor and he went for it yeah oh wait they're taking mercy out of the sky sorry buddy we have to wait another day as we do see the nano come out so they're committing to this fight the grab comes out as well the win condition that you said but it doesn't get hit by anyone as the dragon comes out they popped up with three alts almost all botched as the nano comes out it's seeming a little bit less and less that they're gonna be able to hold this point 84% as CM Bros is able to get back. He is going to be popping Penish Dominic maybe in the near future, but they are going to be able to hold for one more fight, if not the map. Wow. That is an unlucky turn of events there for, for Hallie. Um, tries to grab the team, grabs the, the shield, gets no one. You know, they invest the, the dragon in that as well, um, and no one dies to any of that, and that allows... Banshee to, to, to successfully defend that point. I hate to see it. I hate to see it happen, but it does happen sometimes. 1-1, one, one, and we're on the last map. And I feel like this is definitely where Hammond comes out, and Jay, I think, switched a little bit too fast to that Hammond. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean... Okay, perfect. So we do see, so Jay switches off, but we do see a more of a divey comp coming off from Banshee. We have a cyber dive on Banshee. We have <laughs> that Genji and Sombra. Then we have the, you know, the, the Widow trying to get picks uh, from Halley. Let's try and see the position. They both take high ground. Let's see how who makes the first move here. What's what's the dive condition? Yeah, so it's gonna make the dive condition. Ooh, I'm gonna guess it's it's gonna be. I have no idea, but we do see like that dive condition has been met. As you do see, Risky hop in, trying to impress his girlfriend. Toasty always lying down, but not. Risky get, gets nanoed and anti right there. He has to back out of the fight a little bit as Ford and the Cyber Dive are able to properly defend. Risky needs to need up your game if you want to press your girl. Yeah, I think uh, Risky was just a little eager on that, and um, I think with how Banshee was playing, that was incredibly right, right? They have that that, that Sombra that can, they were playing a counter dive, right? So just waiting for someone to jump them, and, and then whoever's jumping them is going to get hacked and deleted. Um, so really good execution by Banshee there, and they have point control. Control, lead task manager them as this next fight comes out. Risky popping out, playing a little bit risky right now. Trying, trying to um, push back. He already, and he straight. already has primal, so I expect him to get real aggro here. Both, both, both monkeys have primal, so they're trying to knock as much people around, but not doing a whole lot right now. Yeah, but he's getting, tries he's to go getting for hacked. So they're gonna try and farm an EMP here. Ooh, yeah. So what we're trying to do was he tried to go for some spacing, <laughs> try to use his primal as a spacing all, but uh, really didn't act that well as Forge almost already back to EMP. And Wisp pretty much farmed his entire EMP off of that hacked half primal monkey. So expect that, expect a, uh, a blade coming out on both sides here. So both sides are coming up with an EMP blade uh, and they have bomb as well. So they can do EMP bomb. So I'm curious to see what ults they cycle in here. Yeah, but Ace arch down force can be huge as we do see Wisp come in. He's not exactly has EMP, but he's 
getting close. There it is. EMP comes out. Blade doesn't pop. Doesn't pop his blade out. There we go. Waiting a few more seconds to do it, which might actually have meant the fight right there as he's looking for some pinatas to hit. Finds three of them and gets some nice rifle candy from there. As this point on 70%, we'll be going to Holly. Yeah, I mean, I think that the patience pays off again. Before I was saying the patience paid off for Banshee and now it was Hallie's turn. Now they waited until to do their, their blade in EMP and, and uh, it results in them. Whoever, pretty much whoever EMP is last dies or wins, wins the fight. So for this fight, Ford definitely has the EMP side on them. He finds Wisp, deciding if he wants to hack him or not, but he's gonna wait for the entire team to come in. Oh, they're doing the, the nano bomb. Ooh, only really gets blade, <laughs> hack bomb, but only really gets blade right there as you know, only one kill is really needed. They are gonna go right. in and they are gonna be winning this fight. Yeah, once you get that first kill, it's a matter of, you know, target selection and focus fire, right? Because you have that advantage. Uh, and as long as you get those kills efficiently, the other team, all they can really do is just delay here like you see Ricky is doing. Rick, risky, excuse me. Make some great plays. I do, Wisp is almost, almost already on his next EMP. Somers ult just builds even. Aren't they planning on um shortening up her ult too? So they, well, faster. I think it's the 12% universal ult. Uh, you know, ult charge negation, but I don't think they're. I don't think. So. I don't think so. I think they're doing cast time as important is the one that they're nerfing. Uh, so we do see cause gets a pick off toasty first. Uh, some Reddit Lucio we're seeing right now as. Okay, okay, you can stop now. You don't need to go so hard. <laughs> we, we do see the break. It down comes in. Risky falls a little bit too low. We're seeing just your normal plays. Um, Lanya decides to pop his blade, brings out his bat, tries to hit people for the piano, but doesn't really find anyone. Ford stealing all the candy. What can I say about it as we see the counter EMP come in right now? That was a fat EMP, but I don't know if it, it might be too late. And it was get the, get the, got the turnaround. So he so it was worth for the EMP. But let's see if they can, and Jay can kind of turn this around and and, uh, and help get Nick Banshee back on this win. Yeah, Toasty just has a huge, huge, god dang. Okay, I'm sorry, that, that, that nade was just a little bit too good for, for my style at least. We do see a Primal come out, but he's already anti so... Is he gonna get hacked along with it? Ford looking for some target right now, hoping to build off, but he already does have EMP. And so. Ace is Ace is trying to Ace is trying to spin the win as wrecking ball here. Now it's just evolved into complete chaos on the point. Both teams just trying to fight fight for their life, and Banshee is kind of coming out on top here with the, with the help of you know the more EMP, the more EMP you have, the more hacks you have, the priority focus fire. It's only gonna be more in your favor, especially when you have ball on the other side. It's not gonna look good for Hallie. Yeah. You know what you remind, you know what you reminded me when, when you said spin to win. Mm -hmm. Remember the um remember Beyblade comps? Uh huh. Oh man, I, I like. Mm, I wish they added this back. It's an it's a different kind of spin to win, right? You know, just a couple of years later, different kind of spin. Anyway, we do see a beautiful blade coming off from this. Oh, these EMP blades are so good, but you know what I love way more than an EMP blade? Tell me. A really good timed EMP bomb. Yeah, EMP bombs are, you know, easy in concept, right? You know, you're supposed to be like, all right, I'll throw my bomb, you throw EMP, we'll kill everyone. Um, but they are a lot harder in execution than you think. You know, you got to place it in, in places where people can't really hide. Uh, and then the, the Sombra has to be in the right position. So, you know, good job on, you know, on Banshee for you know, the execution on both their uh, EMP, EMP blades and EMP bombs. So the first map is going to be going to Banshee. Close game. Yeah, honestly, I think, really I think nice we're game. in for I think we're in for a really uh really great match tonight. Mm -hmm. and we do see the uh, pigsty that is these are these players player icons. God. <laughs> yeah, you would think there'd be some type of uniformity among these teams, but you know, captain's got to get their players in line. Honestly, toasty, you know, but I start bringing on the band hammer. Absolutely, I liked the uh, I liked caused you know aggressive Lucio in that fight. Trying to get a couple, I think he got a two or three K in one of those fights leading up to it. Unfortunately, I don't think they, I think they still lost that fight. But you know, I always appreciate a good Red Lucio that's uh, aggro. There's nothing more annoying to a main tank than a Lucio that you cannot kill. Oh my god! And you know what's even more annoying? A Lucio that you can't hit even if your hit scan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the entire point of Lucio, right? It makes you question your entire uh, capability as as an as a hit scan player. You know what you really want is Lucio. Is when your enemy turns on their aim hacks and they still can't hit you. <laughs> That's when minute. you know you've truly made it as a top 500 Lucio player. Hey, yo, Widow, I'm sorry. You might have a headshot aim hacks, but uh, I'm a better Lucio. <laughs> 
Yo, Blizzard has been trying to get rid of Lucio for like the longest time. Nerf after nerf after nerf, but he is still going strong. Well, I mean, the speed, the speed boost and amp and the area of effect heals that he has is just too much utility. Um, and I think just at a certain point, people have played him for so long, they're so good at him. I think it's just eventually, eventually it's just kind of like the skill, like it's a trade-off, right? You know, learning a new hero that might might be better in the long run, uh, but that could be months in, in learning that hero or someone that's tried and true that you can min and max to the most of your potential. Um, so that's kind of why we see why metas take so long to develop. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what we need? To, we, I think Blizzard just step back and just let Lu let people just accept the fact that Lucio is God and that they're not going to be able to do anything about it. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, I think it's gonna be interesting to see what other new healer types are gonna come out with in the future. Uh, with, the, with the trend that Blizzard has been going on, I sort of was sort of expecting the new hero to be a healer, but it's a, it's a tank, which is a nice surprise. No, I definitely think that if you look at the the hero diversity lineup, we have what double the amount of DPS than we do tanks and support. So, you know, good on Jeff and his team to you know prioritize putting another tank in the game i th hopefully they put another shield or another support hero uh after sigma uh, so tell me what is your opinion of sigma so far sigma is actually a, a really nice character to play i have to say his little um the old, I, I i rock smash i don't know it's like his, his e sort of feels like someone took the rock smash tm for pokemon and gave it to him <laughs> yeah i think I, I saw his kit this morning, you know, during during work today, of course, when I was supposed to be working, I was watching, you know, watching the reveal stream of Sigma. And I was excited, right? I saw as a main tank player, I'm like, oh, he's got shields, let's go. Um, but I think it was just, uh, but now that I've played him a little bit, I don't think he's a main tank. So I'm really curious to see, you know, we have Hammond, who's a barrierless main tank. And then now we have Sigma, who might be a barrier off tank. So I'm really curious to see what kind of creativity you know teams and players come up with and the combinations they, they pair him with. Mm -hmm. I probably honestly one of one of my, mo my most favorite things is that I can now use my pool skills in Overwatch again, not only on Moira but I can now like ricochet shots off, try to get some BS things off. Yeah, his uh his M1 ability I really will have to get used to. Um, pretty much everything about him I have to get used to. So. Um, I mean, as a tank player, I'm excited to add another hero to the hero pool. Mm -hmm. I still don't really understand his left shift. Anyways, <laughs> we are now going to Dorado, I think. And I have to say it, I want a Bastion, no matter what. I just want a Bastion. That's you know, what you Bastion's... ever want, man. It, it is, but can you judge me for that? Bastion, yeah, absolutely is, a, we Bastion can. is an underratedly great pick on Dorado. Uh, my team and I ran a Bastion, Arissa, uh, in our first game on Dorado, in our first week. Uh, with pretty good results, um, because I don't think many people expect it. Um, so I'm, I'm curious to see what these two teams come out with. I mean, obviously, Arissa Hogg is you know, a pretty great um, combination here, especially on the first first point, because there's some pretty devastating chokes to get there, especially you know under the archway at this yellow building. Mm -hmm. One second, let me put that in my notes. Call out Beak when he doesn't play Bastion on Dorado with his game Banshee. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. I have that down. So we can't aren't going to be seeing. It seems like we aren't going to be seeing any Banshee right now, but we are going to be seeing the Rissa Hog come off on both teams. And I just want to see. Come on, come on, Holly. I know you can do it. Pull off some halt hooks. You can do it. I believe in you. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously, with on a, at a control point, the halt hooks are important. But I think on a payload map, they're just that much more important to really gain ground over time um, because of how much longer these games are, right? And that's what really is going to decide these matchups. So you have. Uh, you know, the McCree and Hanzo coming out from Banshee. Uh, so I'm going to see, I'm curious to see how much value Ford is getting on this McCree. Because uh, you don't really typically see him. I, I anticipate him mostly being there for shield break. Yeah, as we do see, they, we do see Wisp. No, sorry, not Wisp. Actually, I yeah, know. We do see Wisp go off onto the side. He's flanking as a, as a Widow, just trying to get some. He's trying to make space or just like deny space for... Banshee right now. It all depends on how it's gonna go. At least, you know, Banshees, they're not running their double sniper comp. They're using forward for shield break, like you said. It, it seemed to have worked pretty easily. Only the tanks are really on the point right now. Wisp sort of moving off to a, a different high ground, a better high ground in my opinion, but... So right now, it sort of seems like Banshee decides to take over. Ooh, they almost get a nice hook off. 
There we go. Blade's gonna be falling down just right now. As we do see Ace play a little bit too aggressive right now, almost falling off, but we do see the trade off right now. Sword seems to be a pull and push comp right now. With the Risa falling down, it's now looking more on the side of Banshees. Yeah, Banshee has played this comp perfectly, right? If you've noticed the entire time that Payload was moving up the up the street, the shield of Heli was getting destroyed at twice the rate Banshees was. So their 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 win condition is very clear here in the sense that they want that that shield to be deleted that way they can have free halt hooks and free spam damage going into uh you know into hilly heli but Halley just wants some picks right that's why they are playing that widow but i see they made the switch yeah i'm sort of confused because um they, they have blade and you know with blade on junk rad this it seems like they would be breaking the shields a lot faster yeah, and um, I'm so, I guess confused every time you say Blade because I think they, I'm like, wait, they don't have a Genji, they don't have Blade. Um, but yeah, I think now now they're just they're now they're just trying to fo get focused on getting on building that tire because um, this might be the only way that they actually you know break through Banshee's comp because they have them positioned exactly where they want. Yeah, so here comes that the next fight. We do see <laughs> Dragon come in. Ace gonna be the first one to come out. Risky, almost in there, but just barely, you know, not touching it. Right out of that hitbox, we do see the tire talking about hoping to make a, some players a little too tired to play right now, but uh, just doesn't. Actually, here it goes. So he's trying to come in. Doesn't get hit. Lanya snipes it from halfway across that the map. Is, that is the second time that Lanya has successfully uh, taken the tire out, um, you know, from Halley. So props to him for being, you know, he must have been practicing his, his tire shooting skills after before this game. Yeah, we do see the bongos come out for this fight. Corial falling a little bit too low, a little bit too aggressive. Risky able to get that pick off. Hopefully that will redeem himself with his girlfriend right now. Halley is putting Halley is putting a lot of of, of ultimates and in, in to try and win this fight right here, right now. Risky is putting it all on the line for his for his girl right now. He's trying to lead the front line, um, you know, with his uh, with his you know supercharger. And let's see if they can avoid that high noon. Ooh, Risky takes a high noon from the face, just like his girlfriend's gonna be talking to him after this. As we do see, uh, sort of sad to see this, but we are gonna see Banshee hold this point. With risk, I think like they popped so many alts, it's it's yeah. not feeling too good for them. Yeah, I mean they won the fight to begin with, right? But then after time, you know, the the spawns from Banshee were coming back, uh, and I don't think they were properly tracking. You know, Halley wasn't properly tracking the fact that those spawns were coming back, and they had alts to use, right? So they had Dragon to really split them up and separate. They had High Noon, and that's what kind of cost them that fight. So I'm curious to see what Halley does now that, that they're at a disadvantage. Oh, that shield break was so fast. You saw it. Risky put down a shield, not even a second, and it was down. They do have Whole Hog, so they might be turning out some ground beef right now. There we go. That is a halt to that I want to be able to see with Jade down. They are going to try to recuperate Banshee by trying to play whatever they possibly can, bring in the beat down, but it just doesn't seem like anything's working out. As no one on Holly has fallen down, they're going to be able to get to the first point. Yeah, Blade almost got punished hard there for the little flank. It's trying to flank against Roadhog is not a fun time, um, but eventually it all worked out. So, good, oh, good, good first take. Staggered hard. Mm -hmm. So now he's going to get spawned in that far spawn back back in the uh, the factory over there, and that's going to be a lot of free push for Holly. Yeah, definitely. But oh, and not to mention that they already have four alts, so this game might be even like the free point for Holly. It could. I'm. I'm curious to see what they think. What they. What they pull out here. Uh, I suspect that they'll try and use a tire to just open up this fight before it even really starts and get even more free push. Yeah, we do see that. There you go. The tire comes out. Jump around looking for someone to kill, but those tire shooting skills on the team of Banshee are just a little bit too good at, at this point. If I was played, I wouldn't even alt anymore. Oh, Holly, Holly is continuing. They are stubborn in their ways, and they really want to win this fight. They uh, they're putting a lot of ultimates here. They put a, ultimate, a lot of ultimates here, but none of the ultimates really seem to connect as the Hall Loops come out. Almost gets Ace as he falls a little bit too low for comfort. Ford getting a few more picks up and they're rounding it out. Uh, you popped five ults, but yeah. was it really worth it? I think we're seeing the name of the game here, right? And is is the, the, the two very close teams, but the differences right now is being patient, waiting for when those ults being used, you know, kind of siphoning them per fight that way you have other win conditions after each one rather than just kind of front loading or back loading all of them in, in like the most important, you know, overtime fight like that. So um, I want to see Halley be a little more patient on their ult usage here. And we, we have the possibility of this. We do have a risk. Wisp and Risky, who do have their alts right now. Lanaya, okay, Lanaya's playing really aggressive right now. He's up on the top. He's looking for a pick, but 
Nothing's going to connect. I mean, he's gonna have to back up a little bit. We do see the uh, Ash come out. Oh, big he's sleep. Gonna get, yeah, big sleep and big kill as well. Like, like I said, the, the Siphon ults, they're just not really working. They're gonna pop, you know, a Bongos one more time. Paul took, it's so beautiful on the side of Banshee. Every single time I see it, it just connects. And as soon as it connects, they get swapped. The halt hook is really what breaks down that fight, right? So I actually think Halley had an, an advantage going into that. Uh, you know, after, you know, they used High Noon, they got slept, they had, you know, they had the momentum on the cart. Um, but, you know, once you get one of your frontline players picked, uh, that's when you got to do a full full switch and just try and dive them. Yeah, we do see, I think they went for a little bit. Nope. It might be a little bit of a split push right now. As Blade, we... Blade cannot die here. He almost has Bob. That's going to be important to kind of contest the point, especially against the Nervous Hog. Um, so I'm curious to see how much value he gets and how close he can build that. Risky just jumps in, but his team just isn't there. Now keep in mind, Holly, they're trying to recuperate, reciprocate these, oh. these attacks right now. But the 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 bomb on the side of Ash and the blade, and even if they they got the nade, it wasn't enough. Yeah, Blade dies the moment he gets his Bob to use. That's unlucky. Um, you know, Risky getting really deep in there. Knows he has to contest point. Just an, an unfortunate situation for Holly. You know. They don't have the ult advantage, you know, they, after doing like a giant switch of their comp. Um, so it was kind of hard pressed to see if there'd be any success in that, but, you know, it was a good good push overall. Mm -hmm. I, I definitely did like the switch to Ash, but I think Blade was in the, still in the Roadhog mentality going and going, like playing as Ash, playing a little bit too aggressive, a little bit too out of position, and he definitely got punished for it. Right. Yeah, and that's the thing with Ash, right? You got to get angles to get that, um, you know, to get the dynamite value, to get all that burn. <laughs> that chip damage um you know i, I really want to see if they're going to continue to play this ash i want to see some uh pulls into the dynamites uh you get tremendous value as ash when you can get a, a whole clump load of people into a dynamite and you just watch watch your ult meter you know skyrocket every time uh that eight second cooldown goes out um so you know if they're going to run that ash again i'd like to see it Definitely, we are going to be seeing a little, not that much difference. Um, Cause is not going to be on Zenyatta anymore, and we do see Ace and picking up. So they're playing triple, triple tank, triple, uh, not triple healers. They're almost, they're almost there. It's not quite. Oh, uh, for a second you said triple tank, and I was like, wait a minute, are we seeing goats again? Whew. No. Oh well, what's goats? Goats. Yeah, goats is dead crab. It's nothing. There's nothing there anymore. We are not going to see poor old uh, Ford. Is going to be on Sombra, which I I love seeing Ford on Sombra. He plays such a mean song. It's so evil. Sombra again is another one of the main tank's worst enemies. Um, it's interesting here that you know Halley is breaking that two 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 thing uh, two 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 uh, meta that they were you know thinking about doing earlier in the game, um, and now that we are seeing that you know it's kind of the the meta from Ooh. season one OWL finals uh, mm -hmm. with with the triple tank and, and Diva Rissa Hog. We definitely just yeah, and that halt hook was uh, was really good as well. They got Jay, so you definitely feel that Banshee's getting a little bit yo too cocky right now. Holly's definitely hitting a lot more of their halt hooks now that they're a little bit more warmed up. Those that muscle memory is finally coming back to them. Ace is gonna get hacked right now, so there's no defense matrix. Me, they're all gonna pop in. It doesn't matter. One person's hacked. You might as well just go in and try to destroy everyone. But Lenal is gonna get, get taken out. Me, they're gonna have to back out and wait for another fight. Yeah, Ford is uh, pretty slow going on his ult meter, right? This is, again, you know, one of the biggest win conditions in the game is that EMP. And it's all about how Ford is going to, how fast he's going to build that. That way you can do an EMP bomb, uh, EMP bomb, EMP nano uh, with a nano blade. Yeah. Oh, Ford got spotted right there because of the... Um... Yep. He's a I think with Halley, you know, they knew that they were losing the halt hook uh, combo matchup between just the, uh, you know, the Arisa Hog and Rivi Arisa Hog, which is why I think this Diva is coming in. That way they can, you know, pretty much just negate that competition even happening. Yep. So as we, we do see next side come in, they're waiting for Ford to hack, but Ford's like nowhere to be seen. He's, he's on like the, the other side of the map right now. Like, yeah, I, I think he's just trying to get in position here. They're yeah, using ults and I don't know why they want to use that i'd expect him to try yeah. to whole hog his defense oh, here but it might the be a little late comes in not as big as i thought it was gonna be a lot smaller lanale is just destroying hallie right now acting like they're a bunch of pinions getting his free candy out of it 
Yeah, Lanaya having a free blade because they have no support ults online. No, for that blade when he initiated it. Cause it was so close to that barrier, just wasn't in time, wasn't able to build it up fast enough. But it does look like they're going to be able to another contest here. Yeah. EMP for Ford right now as he gets oh. taken out by Cause 2. This is going to seem really bad for yeah. Ford. And as they are going to be able to defend this as well, so ugh. That's an unlucky for Ford because he had that high ground, which is a great position for for Asama to be on high ground, just sitting down, spamming people, hacking them as as they see fit. But great hook uh, by the side of Holly to really punish him. Yeah, I think and now they've be been a, able to take it back. I think this might be a, a two and a half minute EMP for Ford. That, that took a long time. Yeah, I mean, hey, better late than never, right? So I'm curious to see how they want to use this EMP and what do they want to compare, uh, uh, sorry, pair it with, which I think it will be this EMP bomb. Um, oh, yeah. but look how spread out Holly is right now. I don't yeah. think they even hit everyone. I think they, I think they know it's coming. I would like to see the Ahana hide a little bit, knowing this is coming. But I know, you know, Cause has his, um, Cause has his beat, so he's gonna wait for the beat for this EMP and then try and do a beat drop. Up's coming in. Here comes the blade. There comes the EMP. Last second doesn't hit anyone though. That was a lot more of a thin line EMP right there. They are able to get risky out of it. Who was like again always playing a little bit too risky. We do see the counter bomb come up yep. right there, but it sort of seems to be a push and pull on the side of Banshee right now. They do have Wisp out. Ace has now been demacked, and just the fight seems to be going into the side of Banshee. Yeah, it's only it was only a matter of time. They were able to t take the Arisa out pretty early after that EMP. Unfortunately, the Ana did not get, I think, the the the, um, the extra shields from the beat drop. Um, but nevertheless, the you know the right the right plan was was executed by Holly, just you know slightly off and just had more staying power on that dive. Board got a really nice pick off, killing a taking a wisp out. Look in this backline, building this EMP a lot faster than he did last time, staying safe and far away Boy. from this hog. So. Yeah. Expect the blade, expect the nano blade to come off on the side of Banshee because this Genji's right next to Ana. He's waiting for it. Yep. It's about to come in. The dash comes, the blade comes, the nano comes, and he's going for the pinatas like it's his birthday. Trying to find whoever he possibly can. Orisa, Roadhog, it doesn't end there. He finds whoever he possibly can as the rest of his team engulfs the enemy like they're in Mibas. Yeah, absolutely right. I mean. The, the Genji Nano Blade is, you know, one of the most tried and true, you know, ways to win a fight in Overwatch, and you know they're executing it perfectly right now. They also have EMP, you know, Primal. They also have Self Destruct coming in, so I expect another Self Destruct um, EMP to come in. You yeah, and come. this is gonna be the last fight, right? So they're they're super close, you know, to, to the, where to where this payload needs to go, um, you know. Holly is really super spread out, but they're they're winning this fight regardless of being yeah. hacked and, and purpled and you know and everything everything in between they've been able to clutch this. Yeah, I think it was because of the misplaced diva bomb. They weren't expecting it to go so haywire from there. Yeah, so now I mean, but Banshee's still in a good position here. They have primal. They have about a minute and a half. Is going to give Ford enough time to try and build an EMP? Uh, they almost have beat drop, so I expect them to try and build a nano blade and not be that win condition, and try and bring, get cause to use his beat drop on something other than the blade. Yeah, maybe try to do a dry push right now just to bring up their alts. But so they're gonna, they're gonna opt to go on the right side. Looking cause is in a lot of danger right now. He's really close to Banshee right now, barely able to escape right now. His Lanon's gonna fall. Everyone's falling deadly low right now. We do see the dive come in. They try to find Deco. They do take him out. So, you know, when they look for someone that they look for squishy target, they go for him. They were able to get the, him to pop, break it down. So the yep. B has fallen. The shields came out. Primal is still in effect. But Lana is dead. And yeah, and that, that was exactly what Banshee wanted to happen. That was a, a, win, a one fight in their book, I think, because... Uh, the you know the main tank Jay of Banshee was able to get a pick on Deco that panicked Holly and that's why they beat drop but they were able to win that fight but now they have a couple win conditions on their hand um, to bring it home but it's gonna be close this is his last fight yeah mainly this blade and he's looking at those three squishes are on high ground he's this Genji's looking at those three squishes and be like it's gonna be an easy clap fight if you can get even get all of them in the yeah. same place Lanaya, Lanaya is nice. in thirsty for supports here yeah he comes in all the squishes are good oh but wisp takes it out right then and there it's a little bit hard it's three players from banshee are already down they only have four j and poria left but 
they're all gonna fall one by one and that is going to be a win for holly wow excellent clutch factor by holly by wisp the focus fire on lanaya knowing that he is the win condition getting a fat blade was how they were going to win this fight uh and regardless shooting him and dinking him in the head regardless uh very impressive by holly so why don't we talk about the plays of Flory right there because I'm sort of leaning towards the side that he didn't play super aggressive in the first half of the game. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, he was just trying to find his opportunities of, you know, where to farm his, uh, where to farm that EMP, right? He had to kind of keep a safe distance as we saw, you know, the Roadhog is a danger to him. And we saw him get picked a couple of times, uh, successfully hooked. Um, so I just think he needed to, you know, kind of pick his targets a little bit better. Now understand who who to farm, and you know, Roadhog is a great person to farm. You know when he's not looking at you, and you can hack him, and he's a big fat old charge. Uh, but nevertheless, you know, great execution by Holly to get the job done there, when all things were dire and bleak. Are we going on to the next map? Uh, I think the next map is. It is Banshee's pick, hybrid. I think it's correct. Yeah, uh, I think it's. No, it, can't it, be is, it is a uh, 2CP. Ah, yes. Yep. yep. So I'd expect to see uh, a lot of bunker here. I think a Banshee is going to be choosing Hanamura. I think they do lean towards mm -hmm. sweet. Yeah, bunker comps to be coming out. Ugh, finally. I I like to see, I, I I hope to see some uh, some set plays, some set comps coming out of one of these teams because 2CP is really the best place to do that, right? You can catch someone by surprise on that first attack, and hey, if it doesn't work, no harm, no foul. You just try it again, and you know you're not really losing that much ground, and you know you're still a point that you have to take. Mm -hmm. So I want to I want to see teams get creative here. Yeah. So I I as much as I do want to see teams be creative too. Banshee, sadly, I don't think is going to be playing creative. They might, but from what I've seen from them from the last few games is they play Bunker, and when they play Bunker, it's that Bastion, it's the Orisa, it's the high ground. They try, they just stick a stake in there, and they stay on it. Yeah, I mean, trying to dislodge, you know, that Orisa Bunker from a high ground, you know, is a pretty intimidating, you know, time. And that's why Samura exists in this game, right? You know, Samura is one of the best counters to a Bunker you know, you play the long game, you build out that EMP, or you try and get a really important hack and, you know, have a really focused dive on that. So well, I'm curious to see if they do play dive, if they play a, uh, you know, a somber into that, and how long, again, we see those the building of that uh, that EMP. Mm -hmm, definitely is where we are waiting for this next game to, or this next map to begin right now. So yeah, definitely the. I'm uh, oh, sorry. What were you saying? Yeah, I'm saying I'm, I'm. I've been very impressed with the, uh, you know, the DPS play so far. We've seen a lot of great carry, carry plays. But I also want to give some props to, you know, the supports. You know, we saw some pretty clutch beat drops. You know, even if they didn't win fights, like we saw Cause have that real, you know, the realization that he needs to hide. We he knew that EMP is coming out. He knew the bomb is coming out. Um, you know, so some I have to say some, you know, very heads up play by the supports as well. Yeah, so we do have a switch. Holly chose. Holly will be playing on the defense for this one. Banshee will be attacking first, as we are going to be going into this next map. I haven't seen um, Holly play on Hanamura yet, so I'm quite intrigued about what they're going to be playing. Yeah, I mean, I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna see a lot of the same that we've seen already, right? So we're gonna have, you know, either be that that Genji Somber dive, or you know the uh, you know the bunker that we saw. I also want to point out, you know, I f forgot to mention at the end of the that last fight, that last fight that they won on Dorado, they were playing a hog monkey tank lineup uh, just from the fact that they had the panic change in the ball in the fight before. Um, so you know, not even the most optimal comp, and they still were able to clutch out that win. Sometimes the most weird things work. Yep, as who? Honestly, I, and I had to. Those clutch comps work, but do you know when you don't want them to work? When you're uh, attacking 2CP on Temple of Anubis or Hanamura, and you just have one more tick left, and you scratch that 1% left, but that they had to switch onto that May and then Hammond. Oh, I hate that. Oh, you mean I shouldn't just like spontaneously switch to Sim and on the last fight? Oh, no, that's exactly oh. what you should do. Okay. 
melt like, the other team like they're an ice cream popsicle. That's right. Basically, just mini Zarya. Dude, it's not mini Zarya. It's actually a better Zarya. If you think about it, Zarya with some, you know, little mini turrets. Exactly, and it's easier to charge too. Well, I mean, I guess it just depends on your play style. <laughs> Why don't you try something besides Hog? Well, when I go hog, uh, hog, way, way back, so we, we can be in each other. It's, it's perfectly okay. <laughs> Just like I'm on Arisa one trick these days, he can be a Hog one trick these days. No one, no one oh. judges. Oh, okay. Portal's gonna be messed up the stream and inviting me to group now. What, what a rude individual. Mm. Looks like we're gonna have to ban he knows her exactly, for uh, he knows the exactly what he's, season. He knows exactly what they're doing. Yep. He's yeah. trying to get some inside information. Gotta... Sorry, man. Banned. Banned. So we do see similar comps from... Well, actually, it's, I think it's a copy and paste of their attack comp on Dorado. Or defense comp on Dorado. So here we have... Uh, Holly is on defense, correct here? Yes. Gotcha. I think Wisp is... I, I... Big Sonic error by Wisp there. Yeah, big Sonic error. On the it. window, not actually at the spawn room. But we didn't see that wisp. How it's supposed to be. You know, I, I was told that they didn't have a carry DPS and I was obviously lied to. I'm talking to you, Thoth, if you're watching. Oh, Samra gets a really nice pick. pick. Oh, tries to go all sneaky biggie like, but gets found out by Ace. Ace trying to chase down this Sombra like it's a fly in his house. Yeah, I mean, Ace, that's Ace's job as, as that diva to always be constantly spy checking, make sure that Ford has no room to work in that back line. Um, we can see that Ford is pretty much operating with impunity and uh, trying to get out, and he successfully gets out. So now Ace, though, continuing to do that uh, that spy checking with. Uh, so good on him. Mm -hmm. So how is how do they want to try to go in other than getting this sweet halt hook off onto Poriel, off onto Blade, but. Hey, what are they looking for to get into this and break into this comp? It's notice it's fun interesting to notice that now the uh, Banshee has actually gone to the same comp that we saw Holly running on defense in Dorado first, where they have the triple tank with the Diva to negate those halt hooks. Oh so I think God. both teams are recognizing recognizing how important those halt hooks are. And meanwhile, oh. Holly's just murdering everyone. Yeah, Holly's just straight up doing such a good job. Actually not, not Holly. Banshee is doing such a good job, absolutely decimating. Once that first pick came off onto Ace, they hit another Hall's hook and was able to steamroll. And that is one of the downsides of playing triple tank is that you have a Fera, you have a Hanzo that has a lot more, a lot very juicy targets uh, to build ults and to you know to really chip damage down, chip damage them, chip damage them down. Excuse me. Yeah, we do see the aggressive plays, so they're trying to set up. I think they did get a sonar arrow onto spawn, so they do know that. I think where Deco and Blade is set up. Yeah, so I mean, Banshee has a ton of time here now that we, uh, and it's interesting to see the positioning that we want to take this dive, because the dive is a lot more brittle Ooh, than, this Arisa, than this Arisa. Uh, getting whole hogged as, as, uh, as Winston, that is my favorite pastime. Blade gets a little bit too aggressive, pulls in Risky, trying to get the kill off, but just doesn't really pulls Hog to try to continue it. But okay, this man is going straight for Risky. He's trying to go only for Risky, apparently. For y'all doing every possible can. Gonna get swamped by all the tanks right there. As we do see them, they pop Lanaya, justice right now. So Lanaya trying to clutch here, uh, but he had, they have to remember the, you know, the the spawns are in the favor of. Now, Av Holly on the point, and now that Ricky or Risky has has primal, he's just trying to take time, get those respawns back, try and dislodge that Arisa from point. Yeah, you know, one kill for defense here is equivalent to two kills for attack, as they're gonna be pushed out with only one tick. Big sleep there, and that that ends that fight. And like I and like I said, they inv you know the uh, Banshee invested a lot of re resources and ults into that fight, uh, you know. And then they were not able to kind of de defend the point and try and maintain it. And they, they got, they did get a tick though. So you know, progress by by Banshee. Definitely. Oh, oh, ooh, I like the side of that nano right there. But Ace also, do, they they do have self destruct or like I would say tact tactical nuke inbound right now. That sweet kill streak. Interesting, uh, you know, comp choice here by Halley. We see the hog and monkey 
combination again and also a, a moira so the moira may not be able to get to winston very much unless when you know they're trying to get back it has to go meet them um you know other than moira have to using her fade so i'm curious to see how much support risky gets uh from the support line four gets a really nice pick up on the wisp it's gonna in instigate their fight now that voice is out they have so much more room to play with they're gonna go in oh Baze gets two picks off on the both of the support so there's nothing that they can really do. They really only have Cause left, but Cause is going to be falling down along with almost all the other players. Yeah, a good defense by by uh, you know Risky and his and his uh, team here. <clears throat> the you know it's even regardless of that pick in the beginning, they had the ults, they had the bomb um, that really let them to clean up. So I'm curious to see now on Banshee's side, they've uh, you know they have Nano, they have Whole Hog, and they almost have Sights. So they're gonna kind of pick and choose where they want to, you know, enter in this fight and how they want to use these ults. I hope to see a nano with whole hog here Ooh. while Wisp is clicking heads. Lanaya plays a little bit too aggressive, and she, oh my, like you said, just clicking heads over and over again, having a lot of a hard time. If uh, if yeah, if I was Banshee, yeah, I would back out. I wouldn't even try to take this fight on. Now Wisp was winning those those uh, widow battles even on uh, Nepal on that first point on that sanctum. So you know that trend is continuing, and he has a really nice sightline here on this high ground. So we see Ford having the advantage here with the sight. So Ford uh, Wisp is not even going to take that fight, you know, unless he wants to to die. Uh, meanwhile, the front line battle is just kind of a jockeying position here between the, 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 the you know the dive tanks <laughs> and the uh, and the Arisa bunker. Yeah, we used to finally get popped out. Dragons as well. They're going in for it as they can. They're trying to find the chink in Holly's Holly's armor right now, but it seems like they're gonna have to do a little bit more work than that to actually do it. As we do see Hoggy on the point, Humble's get the second tick right there. He's playing extra aggressive, and we are gonna see Banshee sort of pop in. They're gonna go for the you know assist right there. If your Hog's playing that aggressive, you have to go in for him. But like we said, one kill for defense is two kills for attack. So they need to play extra careful right now. They they can't lose anyone. They can't, you know, take a kill. And they have the. They can't even oh. stall. They can't even hope to get stalled. This ace is stalling this point as probably one of the weakest heroes in the game. We do see a little bit of a, a back. We saw we saw Wisp have an incredible, you know, flank line on the, uh, you know, the front line of uh, Banshee, but. The but then Lanaya comes back from spawn, and Wisp doesn't realize, and just dinks him in the head. Um, and me meanwhile, you know, Heli is winning the fight on the point the entire time. So it's pretty funny that uh, you know all these little mini battles between the different snipers while the front line is trying to you know trying to jockey for position. And I want to see Holly not play so much front line against a Arisa Hawk, right? So if you're playing Monkey, he's a lot more fragile than the, the Arisa and Hog, and he's he's going to be reliable to getting pulled and halted and hooked and slept and everything in between. Um, so they really have to pick and choose when they want to engage here as Monkey. Definitely. As first engage comes in, they are going to nano. They're trying to do whatever they possibly They want to stop this in its tracks. If it goes out any further, there's a risk that they can possibly get this tick. And Ace and Risky are going to be doing a great job of stopping it. Yeah, they uh the nano monkey into you know the Arisa bunker with nowhere really to run. Uh, all of that cleave damage is pretty much a wet dream for any Winston main. Um, being able to jump into there and just get everyone with that uh, you know with his tickle gun, but you know really well executed by uh, by Halley. Definitely, that was a great. They only sixty three percent is uh, honestly absolutely amazing on Hanamura. Yeah, no, I mean. For the amount of time bank that Banshee had coming into point B, which I think was over five minutes, um, mm -hmm. you know, the the holding and you know, the different, you know, trying to stall comps that they had uh, by by Halley, you know, was able to, you know, really sustain over time. And I think um, Banshee should have probably recognized a little bit faster that so they weren't going to win some of those fights just because of those respawn times. Uh, and uh, but if not, and that's why they have. Uh, no more, no more time on the time back. Mm -hmm. and you know, what I will, oh my god, I think we need a, we need, we need to put in a rule that you can't put phonetics on your name if it's not needed. Look, look at cause. How are you supposed to pronounce his name? I think it's Kawhi. Just Kawhi Leonard. We're just, I mean, we're just watching the Toronto Raptors right now. Okay, you got me there. Easy come. <laughs> Yeah, so I think a big part of that, of how, you know, how Heli was able to hold that point 
was the sniper duels. You know, I think we talked about it a little bit, um, you know, on the, you know, <laughs> mid game. But I, think, I can't stress enough, you know, where your where that widow is, especially from an Arissa hog standpoint, you know, the the, the stationary Arissa shield. If you get a uh, widow to kind of flank you and just be putting, you know, fully charged shots into an Arissa's head. Um, you're not going to win that fight. So, it's not going to last that long. Yeah, so, you know, it's important, you know, really smart on uh, Hallie to, uh, you know, try and switch around and try and get those angles. Mm. Here's your Bastion. Honestly, the best Widow. You know, it, it's a Widow, but it can shoot out, you know, 20 rounds per second. Mm -hmm. That's right. I think they look exactly the same, right? Yeah, honestly, unbiased opinion, um, Bastion is actually the best sniper, um, tank and DPS. And defense hero, you know. The best defense here as well. Is they're gonna try to do it? They're gonna try to jump on. Oh! But oh, Toasty doesn't get the immortality field down in time. His four's gonna fall down. Their main blockade on this point is out and down, and Risky is bringing in the damage. So it's, it's looking a little bit risky for Team Banshee <laughs> right now. Immortality field's a little bit too too late, but shoulda, woulda, coulda as Wisp mops up the floor, and that is going to be point. Yeah, the. The immortality field, which is such a big part of that bunker comp, especially on point eight of Hanamura, uh, I think fell down into you know the, the corner there, and then really didn't cover anyone, um, which is just an unlucky you know execution of that disc. Uh, but nevertheless, that's what two CP gets you. Is you know you have one one little mistake, and that can you know kind of snowball a point. So let's see if uh, Banshee can you know stop a full snowball of both points. Yeah, definitely. Ooh. <laughs> and Hallie has a lot of win conditions though. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I never do. We see a jump come in. The blade comes in as well. Immortality field to back it up. The bomb tries to come in, but at the end, only gets blade, but that blade's out of here right now. So it's looking a little bit rough for wear as Poyle's gonna be sweeping up. Banshee is going to be trying to bring it in right now, but it just doesn't seem like it's going to be happening. Yeah, I think one of the best things, uh, you know, as a defense for a nano nano blade as you know my my partner in crime my off tank punder likes to do is just stick a giant diva bomb in the genji's face and ask them to deal with it um so you know really heads up play there um by poriel uh, to really just just to throw that bomb in that corridor where he had no escape uh which resulting in a one fight honestly so we do oh i'm absolutely loving this right now what a great play we do see Banshee, I mean, not Banshee, we do see Holly. They have four alts, not to mention the EMP, which is one of the best alts to use against Bunker. As he's gonna come in, he tries, the EMP comes out, he's a six man right now, as the Nano once it comes out, he gets whoever he possibly can, and it's looking worse for where every single second for Banshee, as they are getting torn and shred to bits. Ooh, big bomb. Yeah, they had the six-man EMP, but it was a matter of who they, you know, who they were kind of focusing afterwards was important, right? They took down the main tank, they took down the supports, uh, and then after that, it's just trying to s secure their spot on point. But even now, they're having a little bit of trouble, um, you know, with all the ults that are coming in. But it seems like they're doing a good job of cleaning up. All the alt, all the stall right now, but it's getting harder and harder. Mercy is able to get the res off, so that might equate to them being able to hold before the first tick. But you know, like I always say, two kills for defense is. I'm sorry, one kill for defense is two kills for attack. So we have to do whatever they possibly can. And Banshee is doing... They're, they're holding, but they're not holding well enough. As this point, almost hit 63%, but is barely able to be stopped as Hallie is just throwing whatever they possibly can. They want to hit this, and they're like saying, please, God, just let someone's got Someone's got to sit in the immortality field. No one's sitting in it. That's the most important thing, and no one's focusing it really down. Yeah, it, it's, there's been a, it's, there, this is where the target the target fire and the focus fire from the lead shot callers on both teams are really coming through in clutch because this is a chaotic fight. No one knows what's going on. It's all about who to prioritize on this point. Yeah, poor y'all falls dangerously low, gets hacked, and it just seems like it's gonna go on and on forever. I mean, this is the definition of two CP, so it's gonna seem really hard. We do see the bomb come out, but it doesn't connect with anyone. The blizzard comes out as well. It is going to get ace, but ah, uh, oh, big, big Ryan oh, shield by Risky. Yeah. Very big brain play. His girlfriend will be proud of that. That, but you know, negating the entirety of that blizzard ult, um, and it still looks like that you know Heli is going to secure this. Yeah, so they, they were able to EMP out of this. So if Poyel can fall down in time, that is going to be 
Matt three to Holly. I think that was the second or third blade that Blade had in that long continuous fight. Um, I honestly could have gone to the bathroom and back and it would have been the same fight, but you know, regardless, great stamina on Hallie to really come through there. Oh wait, I I graduated college in that time. Honestly, I could have should have gone to my second degree. I, I, got my, I, got, got my, I got my PhD in engineering, guys. Anyway, while we are in between, I'd like to thank I like to thank each and every four subscribers. I do know two of them, Thought God and Connor. Thank you for subbing. Although I don't know the other two, I am still waiting their names. They're <laughs> beautiful, Taco and Mr. Lethal. I love all four of you people. Thank you so much. Always appreciate the, the support on the stream. Like it, like it. Indeed, I, uh, I especially uh, appreciate it because, uh, well, I'm an admin here and. You're giving us money to give back to uh, to Rails. Um, just a just a little heads up for everybody. Uh, if you didn't see the the little text blurb, but uh, anything that we pull in on stream or pretty much anywhere for the most part um, is going to go 100% back on community. Um, the casters themselves will will actually get a certain kind of percentage of revenue on stream. Um, other stuff will go towards like uh, maybe some kind of imagery and maybe some social information, but most of, of what we pull in will go towards a prize pool um, for the teams to win at the end of uh, seasons and tournaments and um, things like widow headshots and three v threes and stuff like that. There'll be little prize pools for that as well. So um, again, anything you guys give us, we give right back to everybody else so um we're not we're not skimming anything off at all very kind another reason to join the uh join the server you know there's, there's even bigger reason to join the server right now right do this... we want to call out the uh who won the widow headshot tournament i know or the widow 1v1 tournament that happened over the weekend do we know who won uh we Me, do know Matt, who we... won uh i believe it was uh, i think it was maddie i think let me double check the uh the role here real quick uh, that's a really weird way to say bite me. <laughs> so now we have a we have a two one map score here for for Hallie. Um, yeah, so Maggie what do you think? or Maji, I don't know how to Maji. pronounce their name off the top of my head, but uh, they're on uh, Born in the USA Academy team actually, which wow, is uh, kind of that. interesting. Good yeah, but they uh they they killed it on the headshot tournament. That's for sure. Wow, honestly thought it'd be my boy Faith so. He's cut. He's off the team. On the team. Out of here. Banned. Banned team. Insta ban. The ban hammer has come down. So what do you think Banshee needs to do to kind of turn this game around? You know, what are the what are the trends you're seeing? I, I think they need to start doing the focus fire a little bit. They could have totally have held Hanamura point if they were focus firing just a tad a bit more. Yeah, I think the a lot of the time... Um, it's been the recognizing when fights are won or lost and then trying to uh, plan out how to defend against the ult that they have, right? So the the win result, the win condition that we saw coming out on uh, Dorado was, you know, they took a long time to try and regroup and they had a win condition and they just kind of lost it at the last second. Um, but here at Hanamura, we saw that they, I'm sure they knew that there is an EMP coming um, from the side of Holly and they just didn't, I don't think they really did anything to to negate that or hide from it because I think it was a giant six man EMP like you called it. Um, so I'm looking for Banshee to kind of turn that around and see, um, you know, how they can, you know, kind of predict and anticipate and you know react to the ults coming through from Holly because they're doing a great job of using, uh, you know, their old usage. Yeah, and I just want to point out though that this is in fact apparently not in any tournament anymore because uh -oh. it's just in. It's we're not playing Kings Row. Oh, well, that is unacceptable. It's honestly, can we can we end this tournament right now, soldier? Yep. All right. Well, uh, this is uh, this has been uh, soldier on production and and bite me and uh, beak on casting and we're out of here. Yep. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, how dare the teams choose something else other than Eichenwald? I think this is the first time I'm seeing something other than Eichenwald. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I'm. I think maybe because they just want to play some Aris more Arisa Hog, right? Who doesn't want to play more Arisa Hog? And I think that may be a little more suited for, you know, first point defense, especially on Eichenwald. Because I personally some... hate playing Arisa on King's Row, because that honestly just sounds like blasphemy. That's, I, I think that's just it. one of the, the biggest sins of all of Overwatch is to not play Ryan Zarya on King's Row. 
honestly. But I just hate playing Overwatch and not being good at the game. <laughs> it's like, I just want to go in there and just destroy it, which is why I play on my um, one account, my SR1. That's right. You remember when you're, they added this- um, You're bottom 500? Yeah, I'm bottom 500. <laughs> You remember when they added this little like um route so people could get through in case a may walled out and then like no one ever uses it? Yeah, I know. I, I actually I think I started playing the game even before uh, after that, so I didn't even see it. It was like really dirty. You have a Mesa. Oh, cause takes out Jay. What about you a little bit sooner, boy? Come on. Yeah, big pick here by um you know by Hallie, and then they're gonna have to. That's gonna force a reset, really early reset by uh by Banshee, that way they don't want to give up any more ult charge. Yeah, that was, that was actually insane cause putting his foot down. Get out of here, And we see Blade playing that Ash, so I'm curious to see, I want to see those dynamite pulls um, and see how fast that ult charge is, is rising by, by Blade. He's already oh. halfway there. Honestly, we do see Act, um, Ace almost falls down really low right there. Okay, so we do see Lanaya playing extremely- There we go! Right now, there you like you said, and... oh, Ooh. Blade Ooh. getting a big hit. Yummy. Wow, that was a pog. Can we get a, so. let, let's yeah. give Blade a shout out right there. He deserves it. Yep. It is the, uh, it's when you, you know, you work with your team, you use those hull hooks to your advantage, especially of an Ash player. Oh, that's all they want in, in, a, in an Arisa is to call those hooks so he can use, throw that dynamite. And now look, he already has, he has Bob just from that one fight. Uh, and Spike's gonna look really bad as a Bob comes in, throws Rodog up in the air, so it's like, no, 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 you're not gonna get your hook today. They pull one more time, get extreme amounts of damages. This Bob is basically stopping the entire team from pushing up, allowing them to rotate to the right side of the point, allowing them to shot them straight in the tracks. We do see Banshee try to do whatever he possibly can to, you know, recuperate right now, but even with the hot and Nick coming in, it's doesn't seem like it's going to be enough. I expect another pull, but a pull dynamite to come in, but it just and Blade like already is halfway to another Bob. No, but that big res on Jay is allowing the you know Banshee to really have a continued push. But Wisp is going on a tear here, you know, trying to get a flank. Both DPS are flanking here. Blade trying to get an angle. I and mean, I don't think can you play the game when a Wisp is in it? Let's be honest. I I think this is one of those examples that Banshee needs to Banshee should have pulled back Please. about three thirty seconds ago. Wisp is sort of whispering in his enemy's ear, but like, hey, you're not gonna, not gonna get this push. I apologize. And here we go again, right? So we see another Bob coming in from Blade, where he's getting tremendous value off of this Ash. We have a, we have a, you know, a Bongo from from Risky. They have a bomb. I want to see them throw a bomb as soon as the shield comes out from Jay. I just want to see a bomb go through. Why you even need to invest any more else than you have to? Honestly. They're gonna see the Bob come out. Oh, what a huge pull, but nothing really happens from there. Bob sort of misplaced right there, but it does get Liana out, so it's looking a little bit bad for Banshee right now. Mercy falls on extra low, gets oh, taken out as the Bob comes in and shoves all of the tanks out of there. And that was a big, I wanna really highlight Risky's halt there, right? They were all in position to kind of go hide in that mini room, you know, behind the big pillar here. But Risky had a, just a good enough halt to stop the momentum and that, Pretty much led to Ford and Cumbro's demise. So a really good, really good alt usage, really good execution of that halt. Such an important ability. Yeah, but we do see they have four alts coming in. Maybe some ground beef coming up. And I actually get a pick off on the blade. Then Deco, and now it's looking a little bit more on the risky side right now. Ford's popping his alt, and Banshee will finally, after a whole, after a whole few minutes. We'll be taking this point. Yeah, it looked ominous there for a little bit, um, you know, on the side of Banshee. But you know, after they had a couple, a couple ults to use, and you know, uh, you know, Lanaya had a couple good picks. So, you know, now we move on to streets. Perfect. I just got some information. So, the reason why they do play three tanks a lot is because they only, yeah. so they have three tank players on their team right now, which is actually oh, okay. really, really weird to see. I want, I want to see a two-two-two, but I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, I mean, hey, you got to work with, you know, the kind of expertise that you have. And I really want to see Poriel eat a lot more of these, um, you know, these dynamites, right? Because, you know, Blade is getting so many bobs, um, you know, so it's really on Poriel to understand when that halt's coming in and when that, uh, you know, dynamite's coming in. So it's making his job all the all the more difficult um, that he has a couple of different really important abilities um, to focus on and eat. Otherwise, it could be disaster for his team. Honestly, I'm looking at this wispy to stop. 
We do see the pull come in. Poriel was a little bit too late. Like you said, we definitely need to see him start eating those. But as the all as the fireworks start, you know, raining down from the sky, it, it's a little bit too late, guys. Fourth of July already happened, but they're gonna try to, you know, celebrate it anyways with Halley. Straight up decimating Wispy and pig after pig, and the shield doesn't even last a second because Risky is just decimating it. And Bob's doing a great job of contesting point, but this is the third time that his Bob has gotten slept. I think Blade has to wait until someone says that, you know, a sleep dart has been sent out by Toasty. You know, being really smart about saving that sleep dart for when Bob, that way it just completely negates an entire ultimate. Oh, I'm surprised. Yeah, definitely. You know, I'm surprised that Hanzo didn't get, get destroyed there by the uh, self-destruct, but... I guess we're going to see this point get pushed a little bit harder. I'm loving the aggressive plays by Banshee right now. They're setting up really far up. Yep. Yeah, they want to get as much free space as possible. And, you know, they don't really have many ultimates other than Sights. So it's a matter of trying to get... Ooh, there you go. Great pick. There you go. Great pick off onto Blade. Sights comes out. Now they're just looking for free people to pick off. It doesn't even matter. And Zeddy was a little bit out of place right there. So is Risky. So you better start watching out because he's his positioning's a little bit off point right now. Yeah, it's caught... Caught calls out in the open there. Poor Zen, always getting sniped by Widows. I don't know what Widow has against those Omnics. Um, but either way, that's going to cost them an entire point unless they feel like they can cleave. test here. Huge cleave by Jay right now. Getting so much damage off. I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if he got Primal in five seconds. Yep. There it this is. This is a great spot for a Primal. You know, you're just going to kick everyone out of here. Oh my god, and poor Yell. Straight up decimating the... Straight up with a great bomb as well. They're going to be able to bring the Ram to the door. Yeah, when you have those tank ultimates from a dive, you have that diva bomb, you have you know the primal rage, especially at the end of se second point Eichenwald. That is an amazing point for Monkey to try and boop as many people off as possible. And now you see them go into a more traditional Ryan Zarya. Definitely. Yes. Oh, ooh, yeah. I, I'm sort of sad seeing Risky on Ryan because he was doing really good on you know Winston, but yeah, the, the switches had to come. Dragon comes out really good. Strip cleaves the enemy team into, but Blade and Wisp are still able to get some relatively good pushes right here. Risky able to support his team where they need it, and what a, they're able to stop that push in his tracks. Yeah, R Risky sleeping on the job there. Good stuff by Toasty. He's just sleeping everything that's coming his way. Um, you know, the, the key here for for Holly is just the the you know the delay game right this is going to be last fight they're coming up on shatter i'm curious to see how they want to enable risky shatter whether that be a bash shatter whether that be a boop shatter by the lucio you know i want to see some type of combination to really secure the win here i want to see the boop shatter i'm not gonna lie i just love seeing it risky has it so he's just looking for it but they do have nano right the shatter it's huge it's almost everyone and the team is just capitalizing on this hope the damage is coming out we do see dragons come out to try to do whatever they possibly can but it just doesn't seem like it's happening right now. Risky gets picked off by Ford, and the push seems like the push seems like it's gonna win second by second. As Ace is able to get two more picks off, with Jay going down, that will be round one completed and a really nice hold as well. Yeah, I mean that shatter wins them the wins them that fight, right? You know, it puts a, the you know Banshee at an immediate disadvantage. You know, with four people shattered behind uh, behind Jay, you know, trying to get a slight flank around the payload, that cheeky cheeky peek. Um, which really was with the difference maker, and uh, so you know, let's see what uh Banshee could do on offense, or sorry, on defense. I, I want to see this, although I really do want to see. Like, you got me excited. I saw how fast, you know, straight. I, I saw how fast Blade got Bob every single fight. Mm -hmm. I want to see. More, I want to see more. You know, halt, halt dynamites. I, I gotta see more. Yeah, once you realize that, that's something, you know, for all you people in the chat can really farm the shit out of SR, uh, you know, on, you know, on ladder there. You know, that's something you, you go grab a main main tank friend, if you're the Ash player, and just try and do as many halt dynamites as you possibly can in your games to really farm that SR. So, there's your, there's your free tip of the night. This might be where they get held off, because, honestly, no matter what, it seems like for the night. You know, I, I've seen Ford's point and click adventure a, a few too many times. I have to yeah, say, the, they have to try to do something with it. The halt hook's not going to work on this Bastion. No, and especially they're not going to try shield break either, right? Because no one's going to out, out shield break the, you know, the Bastion. So I'd like to see, um, 
you know, Hallie here come out with some type of, you know, try and flank a little bit. So try and get Wisp in positions where he can poke and prod, you know, around that shield. You know, maybe drop to a, a Sombra, but I just really want to see Blade get some nice, you know, hooks off on this. They're going to push. The, the shield break happens. Hook comes in. Really doesn't hit anyone for it. He's just building up already. Already kicking Ace out of her mech. You know, rents is due. Sorry, <laughs> you're already out. And as Ace falls down, you know, something has to happen and Holly's going to back out because they can't sustain this fight. Yeah, I think Holly cannot try and take the path that they were taking, right? You're you're literally inviting exactly what Ford wants, is to have a straight shot for your entire team walking on the point. They're going to need to do some type of flanks, whether that's walk around point the, into the streets, up to behind Ford and his team, or try and flank all the way left near coast. It's uh, whatever they, they do, you can't do that again. So it's smart that they, they switched on to a, uh, a monkey there. A really big dive. Wisp is behind ground. We do see the spy checks coming out from D.Va, but she's not going to hit her. Sombra's too good at hide and seek right now as the jump comes in. They try to find the bap. Immortality Shield comes in, but they're focusing it hard. It's going to fall in any second now. Ford is able to get picked off by Blade. They're going to try to res it, but it's not going to happen. It's Holly Strip denying every single time. Every single little itty, itty bitty thing they possibly can, but the power from Banshee is too much, and they're going to be stopping. Yeah. Banshee and, you know, Ford having his ultimate, you know, Lanaya having his ultimate, you know, was really the, the difference maker there, right? Like, I think they lost track of where Lanaya was because you put so much attention onto that, that Bastion, right? You know, in any game you have a Bastion, you have to dedicate as much attention to him as possible, as much resources. So, you know, that just kind of gives Fair free reign to just poke as much as you want. He's almost, he's only a third away to his next barrage. Yeah, so that's the second time Ford got taken out before his Immortality Shield was able to come in to help, and... It's gonna come in one more time, but they are going to try to pop whatever they possibly can. Bombos comes out, Genji comes out, you know, Risky the all primal. They're pulling all of their ults to try to win this fight, but so is Banshee. The crit field is coming out. They're trying to do whatever they possibly can. Rezzing up for it, or trying to talk the time whatever they possibly can. He's able to get a pick off on the blade. Trying to create some stage, trying to do it, trying to just do maximum minimum Ooh, amounts of damage, mini maxing as much as they possibly can for it. Is ship. Decimating this team right now, as we see, we do see Anaya trying to come in for the support right now, bringing in Justice from above. Almost get attacked by Wisp, but too soon, too late, as they're going to be able to wow. hold this point at 130. Wow, this fight has gone absolutely back and forth. You think that you know, um, you know, B Banshee had, a, you know, was kind of looking the dangerous there. The, the Halley had a great dive onto them, but each it's been a you know an alt circus. And you know, and eventually, eventually, Holly was able to get this, uh, you know, get the point. But wow, um, you know, between four popping off on Bastion, you know, Lanaya getting another barrage, and even having the wherewithal to when Ricky Risky jumped into him to look away, that way he didn't die to his own barrage. You know, just a lot of little mini details that went in that in that fight. Um, that, you know, a lot we, we kind of that we miss when we're in the like, kind of the, the chaos of it all. Mm -hmm. We only just see, oh, and you know what? You know, it's not chaos. This pick off onto Hori L real quick almost happened. She's out of mech. I seem like such a hard way to contest now. If I, if I was Winston, I'd be looking at them right now. Huge EMP, but the, the team sort of seemed a little bit late on collapsing on them, but nonetheless, they are going to be able to colla collapse onto them. Seems like it was going to be a little bit slow, although they are going to be able this to. This is go. and this is great for for Halley, right? You know, the longer this fight takes, because it's already their one fight. The longer this takes, the more free, you know, space that this payload gets. And you know, if if Banshee wants any any way to win, you know, this map, I think they need to have a pretty monumental second point hold here. And that starts with a bomb, uh, an bomb and a bomb and a in a bongo. Yeah, so they are gonna pop the bongos almost immediately. But oh my god, the plays right there, they were expecting it. Risky went in, Blade went in, they all focus bongos, and they all focus tank, and they all focus forward, and now it just seems like it's not gonna work out for them as Banshee. They try to recuperate, but the all just keep on coming in from side Halley. They're doing whatever they possibly can. Risky getting a bunch of boops, but uh, it just doesn't seem like anything's working out for them. A back and forth team fight this is right now. You know, the Ram is so close to this door, and they're so close to winning this fight, but, you know, J-Day, J is holding on, this bomb's coming in, spacing is happening, and just, it's taking a little bit too long for these reinforcements to come in, even if they do get this awesome EMP right now, 
There we go. Seems like Ali was able to put down, put their foot down, and now they're gonna be able to get the points. Yeah, I mean, there's still some stragglers coming out. I mean, obviously trying to get as much time taken off as possible. You know, I thought Jay and you know and Banshee was in a great position there because he was kind of stationed on the point and he had a lot of support. But you know, he got hacked, and you know, I don't think he was getting you know as much healing as he was required because everyone was getting focused down so well. Um, so they need to have an even bigger hold here. You know, right here, right here in the doorway uh, of sec uh, third point icon wall. I'll push that Banshee only had 30 seconds to do. Holly has 22 minutes and 20 seconds to do it. So it's gonna seem a little bit iffy right now. Risky, now on the Rhine, swing out his hammers. The bomb comes in, excellent spacing. Almost hits Lanaya, but misses him by just a hair. Risky is trying to build up his Jay's hair low. as fast as possible. Jay falls down, so that's gonna be seeming even harder to do. Huge dragon. It's on, it's on Poriel it now to really hold this point on himself, right? So he's he's the one, and so is uh so is Cumbros to be able to delay this. You know, like, otherwise we're getting, they're getting pushed back. You gotta have time for your Reinhardt to get back on on point here. And able to hop back in point. This is almost yeah, like you said, almost all on Jay. Jay almost has shatter. Risky just Jay gets purpled again. You know oh, the God. you know Deco has been incredible with these purples in the last two fights. Really, kind of limiting Jay's ability to do anything. Yeah, and Wisp is extremely high charge, able to deal massive amounts of damage no matter what. Seems like Banshee's gonna be able to hold this by just yeah. a hair. Yeah, great stuff by Banshee there. Now they now the old economy here is going to be so more, so much more important here, right? They have Shatter, both both Ryan's have Shatter, right? So who's going to be the one that's gonna get the bigger Shatter? How is the other team going to enable that? Now who's gonna get focused down first? I'm really curious. I think Risky's going for it. I think Risky's gonna swing his hammer and then go straight for the hammer. The mind oh, games Jay. come out. Jay throws it down first. Neither of them really get people out. We do see you know the grab the graviton surge come out along with the bomb. Really only gets Jay, but I feel like right now all they really need is to get Jay. They have, you know, the nano rind on Risky. They have so much damage to come out. It really holds on to, you know, Toasty and Poryel, but Poryel, she doesn't have mech, she's getting close, but if she gets able to hit it up, she's hit it up quickly because oh. oh, she got shattered too, as well Massive as receive and a shatter. huge anti as well. Uh, it it seems like you know Banshee's gonna have an extremely hard time pull, pulling this. There definitely is a chance. I mean, we've seen contestants go on for like hours. Ford is trying. Hours. Ford's trying his absolute hardest here as Tracer. Uh, you know the unfortunate thing and oh oh, uh, poor that's Yacht gonna be gets it. Back to the point. Hallie wins. Hallie was able to defeat the undefeated team. The underdogs able to win this match. Wow, incredible display by Hallie. You know, people pop popping off on both sides. Ford getting a giant, you know, uh, bastion ult here. Let's see. Oh, cleaning up on these uh, these squishies, these poor supports. Why you gotta bully the supports like that? Tonka time, best time. What can I say? <laughs> But I think the, the you know the big big plays at the end there was you know Jay was trying to charge his way back to point, and you know Risky had the wherewithal knowing he has shatter you know he's not going to be able to stop that shatter as he's trying to get back to point with that charge and just you know was able to clean up after that four man shatter. Honestly, what great plays by both teams. You know excited to see an underdog was able to pull out a win tonight. Hallie played great. Banshee played great. You know, all around, both teams are ama play amazingly well, but we're able to see Hallie, you know, they, honestly, I, I had to be honest, those Halt Hooks, Halt Dynamites were definitely what I feel won them that, that, that game. Yeah, I mean, I was very impressed with, you know, what Hallie brought to the table here tonight. Um, you know, a lot of good ult combinations, a lot of good discipline in, in their ult usage. Uh, they knew when they fight were lost, they knew when, you know, they won the fight to really go aggro. You know, Risky had great timing on his his Winston. You know, had a lot of environmental kills, especially on Eichenwald. I think really turned the tide uh, on that second point on attack and defense. Um, so I think you know everyone just kind of contributed you know in their own different ways tonight. It's really great to see. Yeah, really great. And I want to say thank you everyone for watching. And I'm gonna throw off the soldier to end the stream. That is I, and uh, I want to thank everybody for, for coming out tonight and uh, and joining us for this uh, super exciting game. And it was definitely uh, fun watching underdogs come up and being victorious against one of the 100% uh, the teams here, um, or 100% win rate, I should say, teams here. It's 
uh, it's gonna give a little bit of an upset and we'll see uh, I'm excited to see where how it goes uh, goes up from here maybe even we'll take down the uh, other hundred percent team uh, which... hey now <laughs> hey now well we'll see we'll see well um as well i want to thank uh our casters for coming out and always as always do do an excellent job we have uh we have beak here is a guest caster and maybe hopefully he'll join us again in the future as he didn't do too terribly bad aka <laughs> did pretty good hopefully Obviously, i didn't he's... bring too many terms uh you know the rule terms of service for for twitch well you know in mid cast <laughs> Yeah, it looks like we're going to be uh, getting kicked off Twitch and all our money is going to be away, so <laughs> that sucks. Hey, um, I, lasted, I lasted a whole whole, whole set match, so it's not, it's not too bad. Yeah, that, that was that was really good. Um, as you mentioned before, you were, uh, you've done casting in the past, so it's, uh, it obviously shows. Um, and I would also like to uh, thank our other caster who has been casting for us fairly regularly. It's uh, Mr. Bite Me. Ooh, I yeah. like Mr. 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 Yeah, we, we want Mrs. I mean, you can, you can be whatever you want nowadays, man. I mean, Mrs. With the R, please. <laughs> I'm married, thank you. But wait, who are you married to? Um, to my waifu, May, naturally. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's about right. Um, anyways, uh, I don't know if we're gonna be getting a, uh, I don't think we're gonna be doing an interview tonight. I'm seeing anybody that, uh, was requesting and nothing was really uh was really mentioned let's see if anybody's still in chat we might be able to pull someone up me give me a moment let's see if we can get forward in uh oh, we can if you give me a moment i'm gonna swap channels and get some uh get some info here Alright, yeah, we're back, and I'm gonna bring Ford up here, and we're gonna do ourselves a little interview -y. Once I can drag his butt up here for some reason, it's not working. <laughs> Alright, this is highly annoying. My Discord is wigging out. Give me admin, I'll do it. Hey, what's up? Hello, Ford. As promised, for changing your player icon in <laughs> in spite of to oh, Toasty. As he's muted. <laughs> oh, okay, perfect. Uh, you know, as thanks for changing your player icon in spite of Toasty's dictatorial regime, we're coming in for the sick interview. Amazing. All right. So, you know, first question I want to put out there, you know, I, 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 absolutely amazing game between you and Hallie. I absolutely loved casting it. It was honestly great. Yeah. Um, although I feel like we could have done a lot better and we definitely have stuff to work on. I think it was a really good game. And uh, yeah, I have a lot of respect for the other team because I think they played amazing, especially on Hanamura on that um, first dive. That was great. And so I'm just gonna ask a few questions. Um, or uh, Beacon Soldier, feel free to hop in and ask it, ask whatever questions you want. Um, what are the which of the enemy players like on Team Halley presented the biggest challenge to you? Mm, I don't know the exact players, but I well, first of all, I was shocked by the enemy Widow, which I think was uh, Wisp. I, Wisp. Yeah, Wisp. So yeah, that was impressive, and I realized that they were peeking really well like just barely peeking and hitting shots so i was impressed with that and then also i think the tanks did a great job so like whatever the winston whoever the winston was so yeah i think it was rixie right 
Yeah, I think their just dive was super strong, and I was impressed by their widow. What uh, what what um, you know, so you guys played a, a variety of of compositions here tonight. Yeah. What a, what meta do you me personally feel most comfortable in, and the team feel most comfortable in? Mm, well, we've been trying to pick up Cyber Dive re uh, recently, but I personally am not very strong on Sombra, and uh, I feed a lot, so we've been trying to work on that. So I wouldn't say we're most comfortable on that. Um, we're comfortable on Ryan Goats, even though we haven't really been playing it recently. Mm -hmm. But when we go like triple DPS, like Widow, I feel comfortable on that. On McCree, I feel comfortable. Uh, even just playing Zarya and anything, I feel comfortable. And yeah, usually triple DPS comps and Goats, we feel comfortable on, I feel like. Nice, excellent. So what kind of maps, you know, I think you guys picked, uh, you guys picked Eichenwald instead of king's row walk us through the uh, the thought process there um well we used to um we used to scrim king's row a lot when we did ryan goats and for some right. reason we just haven't been playing ryan goats as much and we just happened to be playing eichenwald recently so we thought of that so we're like we played eichenwald yesterday when we scrimmed and we've been playing it a lot the past week so we thought we might be more comfortable in that so that's what we went with Gotcha. Yeah, me and uh, me and Blake, me were surprised. We're like, wait, we can't be in the NA server because no King's <laughs> Row was being yeah, played. No scrims row. <laughs> surprised you were able to get through one, maybe even two scrims without seeing King's Row. It's, uh, you know, how's how, how do you have how do you have connections with the European teams? How's your ping? <laughs> you know, I don't know, but we're definitely not NA because we don't play King's Row. So, so um. Do you guys have any uh, plans to go forward and and get coaching on this VOD and have any particular things you guys wish to fix for the future? Mm, well, we noticed, especially with this scrim, that our supports are being isolated by the other team, which they did very, very well. So we, we're probably going to do a VOD review on this game because this might have been like our worst game of the whole league or whatever. So, yeah, we need to work on just making sure our healers don't get isolated and shut down right away. And we have our coach to help us with that, so. Yeah, the Rediva was uh, shutting down your Sombra quite a bit. We're uh, couldn't get in the back line. It was, it was yeah. uh, very detrimental, <laughs> for sure. Yes. Yeah, I need to work on my Sombra. It's definitely not the strongest, but I hope in the future we'll be able to maybe execute Cyberdive a little bit better. Yeah, I mean, uh, as two 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 becomes more of a thing, and and goats goes out the door, it's uh, things are certainly going to change, and people are going to have to get used to not playing something they've played for like the past nine freaking months. Yeah, so exactly. It's, <laughs> it's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a new meta, and it's gonna feel a lot fresh, but it's gonna be yeah. very different. Yeah. I think we're all Sigma mains now. Exactly. Or what's your What's your take on the newest on the newest Overwatch hero? What's my take on the newest Overwatch hero? Um. I like Sigma, but I feel like his shield's pretty useless. It doesn't feel like it's gonna get a lot of use or it's gonna be very effective. I, I think he's a really cool character, like design-wise and just like as a character, but I'm not sure how he's gonna change the game at all or how he's gonna fit in. And I don't know why they consider him a main tank. I just personally don't feel like he is, but yep. I, I don't know. I, I agree with your, with your opinion on him not being a main tank. As a main tank, I played him in a couple games and I immediately realize that he's not a main tank so yeah it will be curious to see how he kind of slots in you know in the game overall as a whole well he could be like sombra who takes like an entire year and a half to actually find her place in the game true oh, yeah true. after after multiple iterations of nerfs and buffs yeah it's definitely uh, been a, a, a rough a rough time for her but she's definitely in a pretty decent spot as it is mm -hmm. i agree well, um, thank you for joining us, Ford. Uh, we uh, we wish you guys luck to in your in your future games, and uh, we'll uh, we'll be following you guys for sure. All right, awesome. Thank you. All nice right. man. Th thank you for Good joining. Good game. Us. Oops, and my Discord bugged out again. We're gonna also uh, bring in uh, if you guys don't mind. I'll, I'll ask questions as well. It's not a big deal. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the winner's in here, the, the winning coach, uh, which is nice. Ace. Um, he's going to be bringing one of his uh, teammates as well, apparently. Uh, Deco or Deco, I'm assuming it's Deco. Oh, God. I love that Manzana. Wait, he needs to be in Risky. 
There we go. We got our Hello. our uh, our boys here, Ace and Deco. How are you guys doing tonight? How 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 are you feeling after that match? Great, feeling pumped. Pumped. So uh, you I guys mentioned you guys were down a, a few players as well, I believe. You uh, this is not your typical roster. Yeah, uh, we, we, got, came we got a new main. Yeah. Yeah, we, we came in with a new main yesterday. <laughs> yeah, we got him yesterday. And he was like, oh, wait, am I starting today? And yeah. that was like an hour before a game. We were also missing our projectile DPS. Well, we certainly got a... seemingly to, to push through regardless of the roster changes. That was very impressive. Was there any type of preparation you guys had in particular for... Uh, for Banshee, have you seen their VODs? Did you kind of know what they were, ex you know, what what they are looking to run? You know, who to target, who to prioritize, or did you guys just kind of focus on your own game? Before the match, we looked we looked at the previous VOD of their game, uh, so we studied what what their comps are. We didn't like we, we tried our best to come up with comps that can be against them well, and we really just uh, my whole team stepped up their game really well so i'm very proud of them yeah that's that's really awesome we, we we love when teams um care enough to actually scout out the other teams that they're playing that that uh it's it's very exciting we 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 love that people go out there and do the vod reviews and all that good stuff which some teams don't even do but uh if if you guys are are so inclined to even bring out specific, uh, specific strats for specific teams that is that is great and we don't see that here too very often at least we don't hear about it too often um was there any specific strats that you guys uh came out with to counter whatever they uh whatever they threw at you guys uh the one remarkable to me like the one that i really remember is on hunter Mora. Uh, their their defense we decided like yeah. our, our certain dive that that was yeah, That's we the figured really that they'd run out with uh, bunker defense, so we planned for uh, just cyber dive right at the beginning. And when we scouted out as we came out, we saw that they had that. We just had that quick dive. That's cool. Uh, and uh, so you guys didn't start off uh, on a good foot either. You you lost your your first map. Was there any kind of like uh, pep talks that you had to do to? Your team back in the game were they um, were they were they down from that first map or were you guys all just hyped up ready to go and um, there were no issues um, from the first uh, map loss? Cause cause we won like one of the rounds, it, it it made us feel like we can actually win this. So no one I don't I don't think anyone was down. So yeah, we didn't like need a pep talk or anything. Everyone was pumped and ready to win. Oh, that's cool. Um, so, sorry, Beak. No, I was say, so looking ahead, now you guys have taken down, you know, one of the top teams. You know, what are your goals for the rest of the, you know, the rest of the tournament and the rest of the way? Hopefully, win. That would be a good <laughs> that's one. A, that was a very good answer. Easy, um, easy more, answer. More, more specifically, you, you, uh, you want to just uh, bring down the freaks and beaks, right? That's, that's of the course. goal. Uh, yeah, they're the scary ones. That's right. We are scary. Banshee <laughs> <laughs> I mean, was scary today, and you know, we ended up winning. Yeah. Got a hey, topple it's Overwatch, dance, right? Anything, it's Overwatch. Anything can happen. Yeah, maybe Freaks and Beaks are only good at uh, goats, and two 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 is gonna absolutely just kill them. Yeah. I do want to point out: Have you ever seen the Freaks and Beaks play goats? Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, I'm sorry. I just don't know what that comp name is. Yeah. I'm sure you guys still run it though. <laughs> Oof. But you never know. Now that it's not meta, we might try and bring it back single-handedly. You gonna pull a ninja? You gotta, you gotta go against the grain, huh, guys? That's right. We're all about, <laughs> we're all about being unique on this team. We're all freaks. You just have to play like Nip, don't you? Of course. All right. Well, uh, thank you very much for uh, joining us, Ace and Deco. Uh, Congratulations uh, on your on your win, especially uh, coming in as the underdog with uh, with uh, Banshee being 100% score. And you guys, I think you were only 33% of the time, but now that's going to be bumped up. So, congratulations <laughs> and thanks for joining us. No uh, thanks for having. Anything me. you guys want to plug before you get off air, real quick? Ace Deco, want to plug your Twitters, chat, uh, Twitches, Not or anything really. like that? <laughs> 
Not really. Thank you. Go go, go, go follow East anyways. There I guess. Like, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having us. All right. Um, again, um, this is uh, this is Soldier. I know we're we're getting we're going on a long time here for uh, for a cast. Uh, uh, follow Bite Me uh, on his on his Twitter. It's a uh, Bite May with uh, with an I at the end because for oh a reason he, he loves yeah right. He, he loves <laughs> he loves May. <laughs> and uh, I think Beak said he doesn't have a tw uh, Twitter, but he does have Twitch. Um, uh, what is your Twitch there, Beak? It's uh, twitchtv slash Beak2. So you could follow me and you know kind of follow the escapades of the Freaks and Beaks team and watch a stream and watch me get. Uh, you know all the different zany things that happen in the main tanks. So, uh, not Beak One or Beak, but Beak Two. It's Beak Two because apparently my That's name is oof. not original enough. Oof. All right, guys. Uh, thank you everybody for joining us again, and uh, we'll hope to see you on the next next match coming up here. Uh, actually, before I get off, we'll uh, do this last time. We'll see what's schedules are going on right now for tomorrow which is going to be the 24th it uh, looks like we have uh, I don't know how to pronounce this off the top of my head, head of Vastira's Young Boys and Plat Attack Division 2 at 9 p.m. And uh, we actually have a buy tomorrow, um, which hopefully it's going to be filled by a team here shortly. So we'll just watch uh, Plot Attack and Young Boys play tomorrow if uh, if they show up and don't have a reschedule. Should be a good tilt. Hopefully. All right, guys. Everybody have yourselves a good night. And uh, thank you for watching Revolution Esports. And the uh, two wonderful teams playing each other tonight were, uh, again, Banshee and... Uh, well, I can't pronounce the name. I'm going to call him Slippery Dicks because that's what the <laughs> first name is. All right. And thank Have you, a good night, soldier, for, for doing it all. So thank you. Good night. Yeah.